Yo, what up, street dogs? Eric Kim, or the thought. Why greed is good? So, I'm like uber greedy for the gains, and you know, people tend to think that greed is an evil thing, but what is greed? Greed is just like a moralized notion that to increase your something is a bad thing. And also another notion is, I think people tend to think about greed as like increasing your gains at the expense of other people. So for example, let's say there's a pizza, pl a pizza pie with uh, 12 slices. If you ate all 12 slices, that means your homeboy can't have any pizza. Or let's say you have 11 slices, you only leave one for the somebody else. And that's kind of, uh, you know, not equitable and not nice. So according to, you know, notions of like, like communism slash kind of socialism-ish, eh, probably more communism. Communism more like, okay, you and your homeboy, you know, you shared equal half-half, right? Like there's 12 slices of pizza, you get six slices of pizza, I get six slices of pizza, cool. Now, the reason why this is kind of a little bit of a distraction or a red herring is that at least with the internet and digital technologies, you know, IT and stuff like that, is, and this is where I'm like a um, proponent of capitalism, the pie ain't limited, right? Like, I could eat 12 slices of pizza and you could go out and buy your own pizza too. And then, or I could, you know, get 12 slices plus a burger, plus a beer, whatever it may be. And so as a consequence, we tend to think of this narrow-minded thing where you think that like, oh, if somebody else is gaining and getting stuff, that means that I am threatened. Now, I think maybe primordially, this kind of makes sense because back in the day, before we had the internet and stuff like that, it actually probably was true is that like, you know, if you killed um, a gazelle or something, right? You eat the whole gazelle yourself, homeboy can't have any gazelle. And, but now, you know, I could go to Stop and Shop or Price Right, and I could buy 10 pounds of pork for only 99 cents a pound. Yo, that means I could buy this huge fucking pork thing for only 10 bucks. I'm like, yo, you can't even buy a panini for that anymore. But anyways, so the reason why I think this is important is that with the internet technology, startups, and entrepreneurship in general, you expand the pie for everybody. Because this is the funny thing, like I saw this somewhere, I forget who did it, was like, let's say you start a blog or YouTube or create a product or something, most people, it's not like you read one person's blog and then you stop reading other people's blog. No, you read more than one, right? So it's like, let's say you're, you're, like a, you're making ice cream, right? Let's say I'm making like chocolate chip and I offer you my chocolate chip and then your audience member is like, fantastic, now I have chocolate chip and I have pistachio and I have Rocky Road and I have, you know, cotton, you know, kumquat, durian ice cream. So just know that pie is not limited with the internet technology and stuff like that. The pie is unlimited. So maybe it seems like a, a good ethical thing we could do is strive with all of our power and our might to you know, bake more pizza pies for everybody, expand everything, and let us go beyond the notion that of a zero-sum game. The notion of a zero-sum game means the reason why they call it a zero-sum game is that plus one minus one equals zero. So if you see homeboy, you know, getting a hundred bucks, you are not losing a hundred bucks. No, like he can make a hundred bucks and you can make a hundred bucks. And maybe this is where cryptocurrency is interesting because it kind of is a real currency because, you know, Bitcoin, I don't know, they're making 22 million of them or 24 million of them. There is straight up like with technology, a limited pie. You cannot make any more Bitcoin. And therefore, the, the value of it is actually real. Whereas, you know, the US government right now, you can see, you know, you could print a quadrillion dollars and, you know, as long as America is number one in terms of the military force, we could just kind of uh, shake our big stick and just keep printing money as long as we have the, the, the military power. So even though I'm a pacifist, I'm actually very anti-military. The sad fact is, you know, since I'm an American, 
I actually do directly or indirectly benefit from the fact that America's military powers are are so high but you know I'm, I'm more for pacifism I wish nobody kills each other and stuff like that maybe more economic warfare where nobody dies is better than um, you know flesh life death even Nikola Tesla wrote in his essay uh, the problems of increasing human energy he actually kind of predicted it's like okay if humans wanted to be happier more productive a good goal is nobody we like we stop wasting resources like killing each other and actually maybe this is a plus one for video games and you know people who do the fighting games and or even like ufc because like in typically ufc boxing so like no one's actually really getting killed um and you know certainly with video games there's really no there's only digital bloodshed so maybe that's a good thing for society because i think there is something about human nature we like war we like killing and stuff like that you know so you know actually contrary to popular opinion i think if you're a kid and you play more aggressive video games where everyone's killing each other you're actually probably less likely to uh kill people in real life um that's my thought because everyone you know kids aren't stupid we know that like you kill a bad guy in a video game you shoot them up ain't no real humans are kind of dying so anyways let's just think that the the pie is not limited let's just stop killing each other more in the flesh it may be capitalism and um you know uh economic warfare is a good thing